Hi, for this video, what I want to show you is how to rewrite from exponential form into logarithmic form. Um, so if you have the rule, it's really very a simple process. Um, exponential form, your base is always the value that the exponent is working on. The exponent is always whatever is in the superscript or the value that's above the letter. And the value is the output or what the answer you get. So when you write it in logarithmic form, the log and the base go together. Base is always written as a subscript, so it must be lower than the logarithm. And then the value equals your exponent. So um, the purpose of logarithms is to help you solve exponential functions when the exponent is in the variable. Um, but they also have other uses too, so let me show you how to rewrite them. Um, it's very important to be able to rewrite from one form to the next. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this equation first. And we're not solving anything. All we're doing is rewriting it as a logarithm. So remember that this is going to be your base. This is going to be your exponent. And the 15 is the value. So all you would do is substitute that into here. So we would have log of x, log base x of the value 15 equals the exponent 4. And that would be our final answer because all we're doing is rewriting it in logarithmic form. We're not solving it, we're not doing anything else. For the second one, we would do the same thing. For this one, we would use log base 3 of our value, which is 7, equals x. So again, what I did is this is always your base is a subscript. The value always goes here and our exponent goes on the opposite side. So as long as you understand the pattern, it's very, very simple. For the next one, a lot of you probably think that this is a variable. If you're in an algebra class, you know that this is really Euler's number. And this is programmed into your calculator. We're not going to do a whole lot with it. I just want you guys to recognize that anytime you see an E in exponential functions, this is Euler's number and it has its own button on the calculator. It is used a lot um, in real world applications. If you take a calculus class, you'll realize, um, you'll, you'll discuss limits and you'll see how it's derived. Um, but for now, all we would do is a we can write it in this form, log base e of the value equals x, but because it is used so often, this one has its own special function and its own value in the calculator. This is known as the natural logarithm. Okay, and for natural logarithm, logarithm, we always use ln. So anytime you see log base e, you would always write this as natural log 10 equals x, and the base is understood to be e. So ln just means log base e. It's used so often, like I said, that it is it does have its own um, calculator button. Base 10 and base e are the two most often used. So um, those are the ones that you want to make sure that you recognize. Anytime you see log base e, you want to write it as the natural log of whatever the value is. And then the last one also is a special type of logarithm. For this one, if we rewrite this as log base 10 of a equals 5, most of the time we would write log a equals 5 without the base. So anytime you see a logarithm that does not include a base, this is understood to be base 10. Since we have a base 10 number system that we use, it is the most often used value and it's the easiest to work with. And for a long time, it was the only way that it was programmed into calculators. Um, scientific calculators have a log button and a natural log button because those are the two most often used. And um, in later videos, I will show you how to actually evaluate logarithms and how to solve logarithmic equations. As always, thanks for watching. If you have questions, please let me know.